friends today we are going to discuss about the kinetics part coming under 6th semester b farm biopharmaceutics and pharmacokinetics so today we are going to deal in particular to intravenous bolus administration so first of all you just focus on what is the question so if they are asking about one compartment open model iv bolus administration whatever it is particular to the question now it is about iv bolus administration so first you are supposed to draw the model diagram like this block diagram that is in case of this iv bolus administration from the blood and other body tissues it is rapidly eliminated the thing is that the drug is rapidly distributed in the body in the form of iv injection either as iv bolus or slug so it take about 1 to 3 minute for the complete circulation thereby we are not considering the rate of absorption we are only considering the elimination part so first of all we draw the block diagram after that we have to express the same with the help of an equation so the general expression for the rate of drug presentation to the body is tx by dt is equal to the rate in minus rate of so how the drug is absorbed or bioavailable minus rate out means rate of elimination so the equation becomes so we already mentioned that the availability or absorption will happen within a few minutes so we are only considering about the elimination part so we are uh, neglecting the rate in bioavailability so our new equation becomes dx by dt is equal to minus rate out so the next equation we are going to express the same in the form of first order kinetics so dx by dt is equal to minus kex is the preliminary equation we are supposed to write in iv bolus equation so this equation is must so if you are writing an equation you are supposed to explain what are the parameters we are expressing in the equation for example here we have to express what is ke that is first order elimination by constant and capital x means amount of the drug in the body at any time t remaining to be eliminated and we can see a negative sign minus kx so the negative sign indicate the drug is being lost from so this is the introductory part you are supposed to write about iv bolus administration after that you are supposed to write what are the pharmacokinetic parameter you have to explain so we are neglecting the absorption phase we are only considering about the elimination phase so in that elimination phase it is characterized by three parameters like elimination will constant elimination half life and clearance first of all in case of elimination rate constant we already studied x is equal to minus kex so in terms of natural logarithm we are converting into ln x is equal to ln x0 minus ket where x0 is the amount of drug at time 0 and we are rewriting the integrated in equation in the form of exponential form so the equation become x is equal to x0 into e raised to minus kt so he, we can see only one exponent so that we can tell that this equation is mono exponential after that we are converting into the form of logarithm that is log x is equal to log x0 minus kt by 2.303 so if you had return the terms in terms of amount of drug in the body that is x so it is difficult so what we are trying to do is instead of this x we are converting in terms of c c how we can express we already studied that a relation between amount and concentration that is x is equal to 
B D C. So instead of the C, we can put log C. So the equation become log C is equal to log C zero minus K T by two point three, not three. So by using this equation, we can find out the slope and we can plot a graph. So what we want to do is this is the form of y is equal to m x plus c. So here last term represent the slope. What is the term except that of t that will give you the slope. So when we plot the log concentration versus time, we are getting the y intercept as log c zero. And slope is minus k by 2.3. So we are supposed to draw the graph. Two graph we are plotting. One is known as the regular plot, and second one is known as semi-log plot. Other name of regular plot is Cartesian plot. In case of Cartesian plot, we are plotting concentration versus time. So we get a graph like this, and we are getting t half also by rapid IV injection. But at the same time. It is if you are plotting a semi-logarithmic plot, it is easy to find out the elimination rate constant. So our first parameter is elimination rate constant. So now we study that log c is equal to log c zero minus k t by 2.303. So we are getting the c zero as our y-intercept, and when we plot the slope, we are getting minus k t by 2.303 as the slope. So we can combinely write k e is equal to that is elimination rate constant is a combination of number of processes, small excretion, metabolism, biliary like that. In case of fraction also we can express if possible write that equation also. After the elimination rate constant we are supposed to write the parameter that is elimination half life that is t half. Is equal to 0.693 by k. So here we can readily obtain this half life from the log concentration versus time graph, and we can tell that this half life or t half is a secondary parameter. So secondary parameter means it depend upon what all things like clearance and volume of distribution. So Other equation instead of k, we can write it as t half is equal to 0.693 into v d by c l t. So we have studied the second parameter also that is elimination half life. Next parameter is apparent volume of distribution. So we already studied what is the definition of volume of distribution. So for I V bolus. Vd area that is the pan volume distribution is equal to x zero divided by k e into a u c and we can tell that the clearance is a parameter which will help to relate the drug concentration with elimination rate so we are expressing as c l r in the clearance is equal to d x by d t by c and in terms of i v bolus c l t is equal to x zero divided by a u C. By this, we are coming to the end of this board video. In this video, we have discussed about how we can attempt the question relating to IV bolus administration and what are the pharmacokinetic parameter we are supposed to write in under the heading IV bolus administration. I think this video will be helpful to develop your idea about the kinetics, especially on the IV bolus administration. If you find it useful please share your friends thank you for watching